I'm just setting everything up. Night reads this cord, not like just sleeping. Good idea. <laughs> I'll be over there. Sort of my sticker collection. Hello, Vicente. Hope you are well. I'm just uh, getting everything ready and checking something in the game quickly because I haven't put the tweet or Discord out yet. But the fact that you came here that quickly, you are speed incarnate. You are first. Hmm. Technically, Meerkat is first. However, I'm going to give you extra credit because you showed up as we went live. Literally the second. So you get credit for that. Uh, I'm just counting something. One, two, three, four. I think I'm on 25 or six, actually. So, yeah, I'm tweeting it. <laughs> See if I can get what I need and then go to Discord and post it. Ah, uh, where's my video discussions? Boop. Send. Right, great. Ah, you were here too. Cool. In fact, I'm going to give you both extra credit. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Hello. How are we all doing today? You're watching this while checking out the coverage of the new Jurassic World Evolution 2 DLC. Ah, DLC squared. <laughs> right, I'm just going to turn off that. I'm going to just lower the game volume a little bit. I can hear it from here, which to me signifies it's quite loud. Do I need to go this way? No, I need to go this way, which means I can move the mic. Cool. Um, I hope you're all good. I'm good. I had a very eventful morning where I thought I lost my Nintendo Switch and it was actually in the fridge. That was fun. <laughs> um, and I have got stuff to show you, I suppose. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of there's four shinies in with um, Mary, but we have also now got ourselves a shiny trike, which has been amazing. Unfortunately, it's raining today, so my guys aren't going to be getting any XP by watering these plots, because I'm going to use these plots soon for watermelons, for obvious reasons. I was thinking of doing exactly what Meerkat suggested and using the green fingers to plant them which I believe raises it a star rating. So if I was getting two star rating, I'll get a three star rating. And I can have ready for summer and on summer watermelons galore. 750 in one go sounds very tantalizing. Anyway, I've got to do the only eight dinosaurs. So the two new dinosaurs on the ranch include, uh, where are we? Uh, oh, I think I've got two on the ranch. I'll get one more on the ranch. Anyway, we've got Although it's, it was the Triceratops and this guy. So Skelly Deoxa, named after Deoxa in the Discord. And the trike is named after trike. Trike 2 triple four. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything smart with it. Now if I go back to my thing, I think they're all... Oh, exp expand all. Truman. Um, those are the six. And then Starkiller and... Vader. Cool. So we'll go start with these guys then. Where's the poop? Show me the poop. There it is. Cool. We'll continue with our shiny hunts. Um, we are on the last couple of days of Critumnus, which is good because it's actually getting us closer to the picnic. Um, and for tonight's stream, because we're starting late, I'm going to do something fun. We are going to expand the stream or extend the stream by 30 minutes every time we find an ultra rare. So the plan is to go live until seven i'm setting it under what i would usually do which would be about eight for you know two hours uh three hours sorry because i want to extend it by ultra res i might extend it anyway but i, I so i can honor extra extensions but i can't dishonor the extensions so i'm really hoping we don't find too many <laughs> if we don't i win if we do i win that's the plan Try not to fall asleep at work. Oh, I've been there. I'm fine. It was in the fridge. So you've actually got sleep today. That's awesome. Why was it in the fridge? So when I got home from work, I put everything away. And then I was like, okay, so I'll just take my switch upstairs. And I couldn't find it. I panicked. So I checked the car. I wasn't in the car. Drove back to work because it's not too far of a drive. Wasn't at work. People at work were like, no, it's not here. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> Where the hell has it gone? Oh, Revan. Um, there we go. And... Got home and I was like, damn it. I'm going to wash my sorrows out with the hard stuff. Chalky milk. It was Revan. No, Revan's already 
What's your malfunction then? Are you just not happy? Revan looks sleep. What the? What the? I swear Revan was one of the reds. But all right. Um, it's not like he's just gotten happy over the fact that he's got poop in his enclosure because I showed up, is he? He's not got poop in there for definite. So yes, that was the thing. I was awake since 6 a.m. six doing six assignments of euthanasia. Oh, I forget that you're you're doing vet tech training, aren't you? I was very confused for a second there. You made it switch cool. <laughs> yes, I did. A uh, star killer. I'm guessing it's food or poop. Poop. Thank goodness. Um, so yeah. Um, and we did get some obviously. I think we got them after stream last time, and I reported them. But obviously, we got um couple that are now in the place with mary so we only need a few more to 30 five or four i keep getting the number wrong but it's fine we'll figure it out once i think i'm close to 30 <laughs> um mary has i think four with them so there's six in there two of them are not shiny the coelophysis and stew i forgot to do something we've done the poop but i'm dragging around the triceratops for xp and i've not done that oops and then we'll go on our, our first day of shiny hunting strangest thing i've ever uh, i mean yeah psychopaths do intend to do <laughs> and follow me you were in the way cretin you're going to be turning to carnivore chow. There we go. Come on, Lucky. Let's take the trike out for a walk. Even if it's just small amounts of XP, it does add up. Um, just so that we can get them to where Stu was originally. It's just nice that way. And now, what are the tacos? The tacos are not shiny. Now it's fine. I think we'll go check the desert first, but we'll do the whole valley look just so that we can clear it off the list it's not storming but i don't know if galleys spawn over here when it's not storming or is it storming it's entirely possible it is storming it is storming <laughs> it's not storming check map it's storming okay cool see the faces are no weiros are eight no cool ignore my clear autocorrect i'm gonna leave this play in the background so you get the views oh you're too kind it was a doll's head okay see Context is everything, Meerkat. <laughs> when you say a head, I was like... Um, whoever you're referring to should probably see a... Well, first off, the police, then a lawyer, then a psychologist. <laughs> but, as you've clarified, it was a dull head. The police and lawyer can be cut out of that equation. Yeah, I don't have time. <laughs> exactly. The, the, the psychologist might still need to be in there. Now, we have got too many ultra rare ankylos. Oh, thank goodness. I was about to say, no more, please. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, no, I was very happy when I found the portals. Um, ah, sunspot. Um, Triceratops. I was like, oh. <gasps> That's a new type of blue, and then I saw the whites, and I was like, that's Paul's. It's Paul's ultra rare for them. And I was like, oh. Oh my goodness. I need to just. Nimbus has been in here the entire time in his box, and I didn't know. And he's just gone, meow, as he's come out of it, and it made me jump. You adorable little baby. Hey, 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 hello to everyone. Split second of Nimbus. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. <sighs> He's going to be with me today because I'm not staying up late. Um, so, fun fact, I just finished nights. And when I finish nights, I usually have a couple of days of just staying up. But because I did an extra night um, to cover a shift, I have then got overtime on Friday. Because I'm doing loads of overtime this month because I'm doing overtime on Friday 
effectively, um, I'm, I've only got a couple of days off, then I've got a couple of days off after that. So I'm streaming today because I've got loads of stuff going on on the weekend, um, personal life. So I was like, I'll stream today. Hopefully record some content tomorrow, but basically I'm going to want to get an early-ish night. So I'm going to sleep uh, probably downstairs tonight because the partner's got the bedroom and I don't want to disturb them. Plus, I snore like a demonic pig. So I'll be like, oh, I'll just sleep downstairs. And when I'm uh, awake in the morning, I'll probably... I'll have to wait till they finish work because they'll be taking the office. This room, I mean. Um, and once they're finished, I will play, hopefully, some Minecraft dinosaurs and record it. Either that, or I record it after the stream. It depends what time this stream finishes. <laughs> but basically, if I record two more Minecraft dinosaur videos, I have got videos sorted until January which is a very crazy statement. I'm going to go, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not fussed about the Storm Allo. Um, I think people, um, I, look, here's my psychology. It's a weird one. I, I'm i done with the Allos. <laughs> I've got their two ultra rares. Storm Allo's rare, it's not ultra rare. I'm not too fussed about it. I'm, I'm genuinely playing this game now as if I'm playing Pokemon, which is I'm just going to go shiny hunt. <laughs> Um, speaking of, I'm doing really well on my shinies now in Pokemon. Uh, I've got 157 in Pokemon Violet, and that's the unique shinies. I've got that 165, I would reckon, but I just haven't evolved some of the 157 to their points. Um, for example, oh, no, it's Cretumnus, so yes, there's a Uplo that spawns up there, I haven't checked it. Uh, for example, I've got two Aplins, I need five. Um, because you need the, uh, watch my flips, uh, what am I thinking of? So, two Aplins. That will cover Aplin and Flapple or Dapple, whatever the dragon's name one is. Um, and then I need three more for an a uh, and the other version of Flapple and so on and so forth. And then I need one for Diplin and one for Diplin's Evo. I need a lot. Uh, it's not going to be as bad as Eevee, though. Not looking forward to that one. <laughs> Although I think I grabbed. Um, no, I didn't. I'm going to try and grab as many of Eevee's evolutions in the overworld as possible because Eevee finding an Eevee shiny is a nightmare because Eevee looks so, just just too similar to its original, just slightly off color, and it's got very few like isolated spawn locations. So it's like ah, that's my plan anyway. At least I think. But yeah, no, I'll probably after this game's done either record. I need to sort dinner out, have dinner obviously, but record or um play some Pokemon. Maybe sort the videos where I have got out all the way up to where I'm missing stuff and maybe just stick it out. Missing the Minecraft dinosaurs and then while I do get a chance to record them, just add them in. But yeah, it's fun. Now, if we go over here, we have these three. No, okay. So, no on the Dimetrodon and Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, two of my hunts today. But we've still got a chance for a Trudon. I hope. <laughs> if I get a 30 today, I'm going to be very happy. But we'll see if that comes to fruition. So, just so I can understand, Meerkat, um, if you're... Um, here and able to chat if I plant the seeds with the after eating food that is green fingers it will increase their star rating and if they were going to be two stars they will become three and I imagine if I'm eating a higher level it will increase the star countage or do I have to eat it before harvesting so and if I eat it before harvesting, will I be able to eat it alongside the Bountiful Bounty? Because that means I wouldn't have to stick down fertilizer if the three star gives three star. I'm not going to lie to you. That would make me very happy because having to bloody hit fertilizer every time is driving me insane. Because you have to put 150 fertilizer down and 150 seeds down. So I'm not too sure. Anyway, that was our shiny check of the day, and we had zero. 
in a shop to no one. <laughs> no, Phoenix, we've only been live for about 10 and 15 minutes. In fact, 15 minutes, 9 seconds. See, I can see the time from here. But welcome. Phoenix, I don't know if you're aware, but we did um, either last stream or off camera get our get one for you. So this, this is Phoenix Taco or Fina Taco. Fina Taco. <laughs> um, so we have finally got something for you. I got something for King and Ham. I still need one for Vicente. I got one for Trike as well. But we are going to do this. Right. Go to sleep. Yes. I did write a diary. I'll write a diary again. Check my channel. Oh, it's Sarah's buddy. Oh, goodness me. I do like a good taco. The diner, not the food. <laughs> I mean, I like both. There we go. I'm going to save myself time and sanity and remember to make you follow me. And then we'll get this poop and then hop on Lucky and see which other dinos are awaiting happiness. All right. Expand all. Thank you. Truman's pen. Malak. Lucky. Galley. Why are you two not happy? Is there more poo in here? This is getting weird. Has food, I see. Okay. And then back to this. Expand all. Um, Malak, the Necrolot, and Scylla. Okay. Go to the dinosaur food. That will be enough. I can throw all this away that I've got. But I don't need it right now. Also, it's raining again. Meaning my guys aren't getting any XP. It's starting to get on my nerves. The amount of rain. Don't get me wrong. I kind of enjoy it when it rains because it means I don't have to put much effort in. But right now, I'm trying to use my guys to get effort in so they can level up. So, big downside. Right, these guys have left a tiny little pebble dash right there. And Scylla was another one. So Scylla still got their um, pen right there, but the um, three small ultra rares are right there, which is pretty cool. Oh, damn it! That reminds me, I've got forty wood that I need to give to Marlo because of, I'm obviously doing all the quests I can for Marlo. I completely forgot about that. Like an idiot. Uh, if it's a Sunday, he won't be at work. It is a Saturday. I can't remember if he's at work. <laughs> right, and then we have just is it Malak? Yep. Cool. Right, then we can run. Now. Stop it. <laughs> Silly goose. Right. Oh, I am rather excited to be playing Pokemon. Um, tonight again, I, I'm just hunting Apple, uh, Applin, and all I'm going to do is do the uh, AFK one where you just aim it at a tree and after eating a shiny sandwich and let your uh, Charizard or whatever just hit the tree and check it shiny constantly. Um, I did do one in the Teal Mask one by just running through Apple Hills, um, but it was so stressful just constantly like, looking around. It was like an ADHD nightmare, uh, so I'm not doing that again. Uh, do the hold check again, and we'll check the desert again first before moving to Dapplewood. And we will change it up over, over the couple of days because I'll probably do Dapplewood first tomorrow, but yeah. Did I get everything? Yes. Those two are not there. It's stormy again, which means obviously you have a stormy gallo. Gallo? Stormy. I'm going to move this back so I can sit back properly. Stormy galley and a stormy gallo. A gallo. Yes, that's exactly what I meant to say. I have got the window open in here to keep everything cool. Um, but it's not going to be needed. The entire weather right now is just freezing outside. However, I do need to check something. 
Okay. Whoa, the chair just sank and then I hit a bin on the way down. Okay, the chair just... Oh, there we go. Right, okay. So the bin was caught on the chair's standing leg and then, and then it dropped the chair, which is a pain. So I need to quickly go up a little bit more. There we go. Um, I just checked the radiator wasn't on. Because I do not want anything getting warm in here if I've got the window open. <laughs> I didn't... I can't see it. Where is the poster? There, okay. Peach. I need to check up here. You know, the Dinochirus is still... Um, things I wouldn't mind. That is not ultra rare. That is rare. That is their peach, I think. Dino Kyrus. Dino Kyrus. <laughs> peach, yeah, cool. If it was completely yellow, it would be an ultra rare. Which is one of the few ultra rares with sunspot. In fact, it might be the only one. I'm not too sure. Or sun yellow, sunspot. I don't know what it's called. It's sun in it. I mean sun in it rather than sun in it like a British chav. <laughs> right. I am hoping you two aren't shiny. Oh, thank goodness. And then... would not say no to a melanistic triceratops as well because they are outstanding. Where's the second Dimetrodon? Right there. Cool. So we have... I think I'll check the T-Rex first today because nothing would be funnier. Uh, if that was ultra rare, it is not. Well, that one anyway. And not those two. But yeah, so I've got a very, very busy week ahead of me. Um, a bit of overtime and plenty of going to the gym. Um, plenty of just... Um, so I've got a couple of days off at a time, basically. But I then have got nine days off straight in the middle of December, which will be followed up by some overtime. And then work again, working on Christmas, working on New Year's Day, New Year's Eve and I think New Year's Day. Actually, I don't know about that. I know I'm working New Year's Eve. Got some time off in January that will allow me to record another backlog again, which is nice. But my December backlog will be pretty tasty too. Now, I feel like one of these might be ultra rare. <laughs> I can't remember the Serato. It probably isn't. It is not, thank goodness. It would be Seafoam. Once we all have a save with ultra rares, rares that we want, we're going to have to do a speedrun color, a color lock play for I wouldn't be against that. But I might be burnt out by that point, because um, if, if I get all the ultra rares I want, We'll be talking like 60 dinos. <laughs> so. <laughs> I think that'll be a good take my hat off, take a bow, and say, I can't wait for DLC. See you soon. But with working shifts, you know, it, time passes so quickly that DLC will be here before you know it. And I can't wait. Or DLC or an update with new dinos or new skins. I can't wait. Um, truly. I. I've got water in here, caffeine, and my vape. Which means I'm all set. I don't have any food, but that's fine. I will probably make some once the stream's done. With anything I can. And then I'm going to have a lot of fun meal prepping. Probably Sunday. Saturday, I've got to go to a family thing see some family Sunday I'm going to chill because I've got work for three days day shifts beginning of the weekday shifts and beginning of the weekday shifts not not great <laughs> uh, if you work in any sort of operative work or IT work you'll understand that that's when everyone else comes back to the office 
place to get changes done or problems fixed, stuff like that. So it's always, always full on. And it's like the first two days. And then you have the middle day, which is hump day, which is just as bad. So if you're working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which I will be, this is where the fun begins, as a certain once prominent Sith Lord said. So, I'm very looking forward to next week. And to be honest, like in my current role, um, I'm just taking as much experience as I can. So over time, and just unfortunately, you learn better when you're in that fire or the frying pan. When you've got the fire underneath your bootay, you really do learn quickly. It's like when people say, oh, I didn't speak much blah, blah, blah language when I went to blah, blah, blah. However, because I was working over there, I picked it up really quickly because it's out of necessity. Like trying to learn a language leisurely, leisurely can be difficult for some, but out of necessity, it's a lot easier for people. Fun fact for you. Um, so yeah. Now... I still need to learn more languages. By that I mean, you know what I mean in fact, most of you do. I need to learn how to ask people if they speak this language in that language and that is the sole summary of my language knowledge for that language. So that I can ask people in 10 different languages on different lob uh, voice chat lobbies and say, Hola! <laughs> and just say, do you speak this language? When they finally see yes as I walk through like 30 languages, I will then go good for you and walk away. Wait a second. Nope. No, 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 no waiting needed. Not a shiny. Hang on. Hey, we've only got one more day left of Katumnus. Which is both, oh, and also good because I can finally get to a picnic that won't screw me over. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Let's go give Marlow his wood. But, um, dumb, dumb, hiss. And then, um, hopefully he'll have another quest for me either today or tomorrow because I've given him a while. Get tr our truffles ain't, I'm not fussed about truffles. I've got some already in storage, um, in case I need them. Hello, Marlo. Here's your wood. He gave me some fences. One day I'll see the large right there. I have a feeling I'm overdue a quest back at his house. Now, I don't want to wait till evening on this day. But for the last step, Quitumnus, I can do it. Also, I don't really need to because he'll probably be at his house or in the logging area anyway tomorrow. So it's Sunday. So that'll be fine. I need to try and get Narlok to just give me <laughs> um, like as much as possible because i'm gonna be getting like 700 i'm gonna be getting in the next summer probably around 1500 watermelons that is a lot and yes they will probably go down to two stars or one stars by the time i finish selling them all i am too fussed about that much of a profit margin loss once we've made that much money let us face it that is going to be some absolute bank so much so that I'm worried about the game. <laughs> I did three years of Spanish as well. I did three years of Spanish and French. And I don't remember a lick of French apart from Parlez-vous Francais. Um, or Alonzi. Uh, and that is it. Whereas Spanish, I can speak a little bit. Right? So, hola, me llamo Cori. Hablo bigido español. A E N C N W K T O Espanol. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm better at understanding what people are trying to say in Spanish, um, especially if it's written down. Spoken word, not great. I won't lie to you. <laughs> Expand all. Hey. Oh. When we get the um heavy hitters, the big ones that always make me happy. The big ones, Grievous and Revan. Now Revan best have poop this time, or I'm going to be concerned. Because uh, it would mean that for some reason Revan's happiness is just disappearing out of the ether constantly. Kind of understands Spanish, but can't really speak it. Yeah, sort of similar situation. Right. Let's pick up the poop. Does he have? I can see poop in there. Great. 
I think it was Grievous who was the last one who's over there, so that'll be easy to get to. Unless it's food, in which case I have to do multiple trips. I didn't take the trike out yesterday, did I? Let's try and remember that today. And the trike has a job to do. Today, preferably. In fact, we'll do that now and get him to follow me afterwards. Yeah, that is all of them. Amazing. Right. Lucky, you also have a task. Get rid of all this gumph. And we'll get the trike on the thing. Uh, as you can see, there was a mistake made here, so I need to get some dirt paths out as well. If I've got any, or a buy some at some point, I'm sure. Can you just... Thank you. Uh, decorations? Yeah. Wood. Uh, there we go. Come on, Mr. Trike. Oh, you're going to need some crunchy poppins afterwards, aren't you? I think you're a crunchy. Just check. The dinosaurs, Triceratops, is crunchy sick. Come on, Mr. Trike. Let's take you for a test drive. Bright side, it's going to bring your XP up a bit. And I'm just not going to put the path down now because I might make the mistake again. <laughs> right, so let's just level up. Level up the side. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll do this. Perfect. So the way I do it, now is this stop get to the next one and do it again this is the best thing about having a good tiller that they till three so i'm so glad we found trike um it made me so happy and i was getting to the point i was just going to get a smaller one anyway also i think people have been unassigned to some of the water things so getting some of them xp is going to be fine i was because uh, i moved one around um because of that i was like yeah it'll be fine and then i realized no it won't be because now they're not gonna get xp and i'm like oh well i'm not too fussed about that um but getting xp is nice in the meantime i just really hope i get a chance to get the large watering bowl soon got up and found a to-do list in the back of the table with me so i know what i'm doing today <laughs> i do love a to-do list um i do set myself one up every single day effectively oh you've got no stamina well let's fix that shall we Enjoy this crunchy poppin from me to you. Grievous has also leveled up, which was a weird statement because I thought that was that was because of the trike. But I was like, well, how's that possible? You've not done anything. You've just been fed. Well, that way, Grievous, who's back there, you can see their stamina like gauge being even higher than it used to be, um, as in it's not dropping as quickly um, per one watered. But it's the same amount of being dropped. It's just that they have more of a fuller tank, which is nice. Oh, that was right. Damn it, and it was right again. <laughs> Just being stupid. Right. So you can do when you if you've got a five by five and you're using a um better tailor, Nimbus is screaming outside. Um what you need to do is just simply um go to the second one in and then the um fourth one in. And yes, you will double up, but it's fine. because doubling up isn't really a problem uh it's kind of an efficiency thing i guess but it doesn't really matter i'm gonna give you another one because i'm going i know that you're not going to um finish it by the time you run out of stam don't worry your stamina will get to the level of stew at some point um i should be technically taking um him out to go hit all the rocks that spawn out in the overworld which i will do probably today if i can remember um, while I'm in the locations that they spawn, so some in the valley and then some in the desert. I don't think there's any respawning rocks in uh, the forest. Of course, we have respawning logs, but not respawning rocks. I do need to remember to try and get more wood as well at some point, but eh, I'm not too worried about that right now. Is there only like three or four of you that have actually got tasks out here now because I screwed up? The hell are you carrying? Oh, it's your energy bar. I thought he was carrying a stick. Right. It's wild. Um, so you've got to follow me now. For the rest of the day. And we'll hop on Lucky. Because I'm not running around. Despite it being a relaxed day. I would never run around on something that can't sprint. Because good lord, that would drive me insane. Now we have these three. They are a... Nope, nope. Okay, where's the third one? 
getting to the point I'm not giving a damn because I can't see the third one. Where are you? Uh, I don't care. I, I don't care enough. There you are, finally. <laughs> right. Yep, definitely not that cool. Let's just check the board while I'm here. Oh! Three stone. All right. Just in case that does increase friendship. Lost a lucky trinket. He lost it around Pebble Plaza. I'm going to have to look that up. Because I have no idea. There it is. <laughs> so we just need to pick up three stone now, which we're going to do anyway. Because of our good friend, um, Trike. I've already got I've already got three stone on me. I must have picked some up. That's hilarious. I found the lost lucky trinket, which means we're golden to go. Now that's where some stones spawn, and as you can see, quite a few have spawned, so we'll get a few hits in, which is nice. I've kept the crunchy poppins on me. Yes, I have. So I'll be able to get some stamina back. Um, what we'll do is we'll just quickly, because we are going to go do Dapplewood today. Uh, we'll go take Trike to go hit these rocks. I can see one of the Wiros. Ah, I can see the second one. No, I can't. That is a tree. Okay. I think I'll be in it, like, a really weird spawn location. Come on. Yeah, no, okay. It may not have been a tree that I saw. It may have actually been it. I did think I saw blue. We gotta be careful and double check. Right, here we go. So respawning rocks galore. Also clover spawn here. Good to remember. It's a triple batch as well, which is nice. So here in the pond, you'll always get what you need for the little clovers. And we hit it. And once again. So you have got three more, two more hits now. And that means we are going to need to give you another pop in. This is just like the best way to get them XP by the looks of it. So what do you mean? No. There we go. What's my character saying? No, if the dino was saying no, I'd say, okay, maybe he's overfed today. But <laughs> it's not the case. Hit all of these for nothing but happiness. I think we have enough stone for him now. I wonder if we'll get a quest afterwards as well. He did say, I think I was going to get some seeds and a set of valley flowers, which I don't need anymore, but it'll be nice for some decoration. Love me, dang it. <laughs> I assume you're referring to the tacos. The, the taco we got, absolutely. Those ones, they were just like hiding in a bush. Now, I need to check in here for my shinies, and then we'll go see Marlo. Megalosaurus, no. In which case, I think I might sell it to Rush so that we got the evening time with um, uh, Marlo as well, because we're not going to leave here by evening time. What's the second one? What is it with them all trying to hide from me today? Oh, there. I'm not in a mood for hide and seek. And there we go. Nope. I don't know what Dinochirus is ultra rare I'd like. I think I do like the cherry on the Dinochirus. It looks quite nice. So does the sun, so I'd be happy with another ultra rare that's just not portals again. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have the portals twins. And I've already got... Like, portals is fastly becoming one of my highest ultra rares as well. Because I have three of them. <laughs> which is more than, like, the other unique colours apart from melanistic and albinistic. I'm probably, like, probably giving the dinos brain damage off smacking their heads into rocks repeatedly. Ah, they'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, I, I keep hitting lucky, I mean, every time I have to have a vape, and I'm just, like, not moving the camera. And Trike's got a hard head anyway, so we'll be fine. Yeah, that's yellow, cool. Uh, what are the Microraptors today? Green, blue, blue. Every time I see that, I think it's a turd, that pop-in um, statue. 
You? No. Come on. We've got to get at least one ultra rare today, surely. It's going to be wet down there. No, it's not. So we have a carrot and a... What else is it down there? Uh, one of the blues. Uh, a blue and we have the cherry. Okay. So no ultra rares on this front. However, that is fine. Because we're now going to go see Marlow. After we check the compies, which are right here. And then we just turn around and go up to Marlow's house. And then we've still got the desert to check. Which will be the last extra Dimetrodon and T-Rex spawn until next year. Where are you? That means you're logging back here somewhere. And I think I just saw you in the corner of my eye. I did. Hello. Thanks. Okay. So I'm hoping I'll have a quest with him for the evening. Uh, I, I've got so many more things to do otherwise. But I don't know. I just did two like daily quests. I don't know if it does increase the friendship. I'm hoping it does. Because I don't usually do those. <laughs> but I did get some, some stuff out of it. I mean, the spring onion seeds are pretty useless. But I only had to give them three so stones for that. So that's fine. Um, the good news is, is Trike should level up again today because once we've taken Trike to the desert, we can hit the rocks in the desert and then the walk will probably just top it up slightly. Because we're going back to Dapplewood once we're all done because I would like to check on Marlow to see if there's an evening quest that's occurred. Because I don't know if the countdown for a new quest starts once you've gotten their original quest or after you've completed their original quest. No to any of you. I don't remember checking any of the valley dinosaurs, so I'm going to quickly just do all of them. Because I don't remember doing that. Nope. Uh, it was no to the trikes and the other guys, so what we'll do is we'll just do a loop round now for everyone else. Uh, check these two, which I'm going to say is probably no. No, cool. Check the three monstrosities, which is a no. And then we will check these guys. Remember, I checked Dapplewood first. And of course, as you guys know, I, I've said it and it has worked like twice out of the four times I've said it. So, 50% success rate. But by checking something different first, I'm definitely going to get an ultra red. <laughs> oh, I'm saying it kidding, but I'm also kind of hoping. I wouldn't have minded another ultra rare um, parasol, especially the portals one. I would absolutely love that. And I would replace Lucky with a portals one. Um, sorry, Lucky, but you know me. I'm a shiny hunter. Okay, my nose is going absolutely ham right now. It's got like a proper little itch in it. So if you see me doing this, my fingers are not going up it. I'm just itching it. By squishing it effectively, which does work. And then it comes back. So does it work? Kind of. I just remember there's a rock here that we can hit. The raptors aren't spawned up there. Let's check the Utah raptors and then hit that rock. There's one. There's two. No. Right? No. It would have to be blue for that to be ultra rare. Uh, blue and yellow, not just yellow. That was blue. That was yellow and black. Made me stop there because I didn't see that pattern on that one before. Down there we have two purples. Damn it. Don't know if I checked the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm pretty sure I did. And it was not shiny. But I don't want to risk it by saying I can't remember it. So we'll just double check. Yeah, that trike's definitely going to level up today again. <laughs> which take us to level 10, which is nice. I, don't, I like it when I get to about level 14 and 15 when it starts going up quite a lot of XP. You did it with Jerry, yeah, thank you. Um, which I do enjoy. Uh, we are getting close to evening already. We are. Amazing. Two posters over there. We're not even near um, Dapplewood, so I do need to speed this along. Because I'm going to set it back to relax because we've got more stuff to hit over here. 
Right, how much stamina will you have at the next level? I forget. How much you at now? Oh, you'll go up to 300. Because you got by 50 now, which is kind of nice. There we go. I thought I saw another one. Not just two. Oh, there is one there as well. Hit the rock. Did I ever clear that middle part? I can't remember. But if I didn't, then that'll be a good bit of XP. So we've got one here and one there. That's fine. So this is one. I think this one's two on the side. That was two spawned inside each other. That's very weird. God, I wish you could sprint. <laughs> Look how slow he gallops. I almost don't want to call it a gallop. Usually T-Rex and the can the same colour as Dapper Witch. It's going to be a pop but ultra rare in one day. Um, I have seen completely different colours um, on them each day. So I guess it's not. I think it's just coincidence. You can absolutely get two ultra rares in one day if you were, like, super lucky. But I... I, I I have seen different colours on them. Like one was a shamrock and one was cherry once. I remember that specifically because I thought that it's one of the early times I got both the um, colours, both the T-Rexes appear. And I thought shamrock looked interesting. So that memory has stuck with me. Right, all of our dinosaurs are checked. We're just going to check to see if Marla's got a quest in the evening time. We'll I'll check the baryonyx while we're there, but that's not really that main focus right now. Might have been the same. Interesting. Maybe that's part of your um, seed. But mine are usually different. Obviously, you'll sometimes get them the same, um, especially with common. So, yeah, you never know. Right. I just need to grab something from down on the floor quickly. Okay. Don't want my phone on the floor, to be honest. <laughs> Bit of a weird position for a phone. Um, it is on the desk, so it might vibrate and you might hear it, but eh, it's fine. I mean, I could put it somewhere else, but eh, it's fine. Did it actually move to evening since moving it to relax? I don't think it did. It tracks already about a fifth, maybe a sixth of the way to another level. Not bad. Not bad effort. And we're about to be in the season of picnic. If I get two years in a row with no picnic, I'm going to be like ultra rare in a picnic. I'm going to be gutted. But at the same time, I understand that it comes with a price. Also, there's a rock here I can hit. I don't know if this one respawns, but we'll hit it anyway. Boop. Um, so I am kind of super duper excited about the fact that I'm about to have a lot of money. But I'm also worried about the fact that I don't think my ultra rare does it. Also, did we ever, um, did we ever, um, discuss Meerkat? So do I have to have the green fingers eaten while harvesting, or do I have to have the green fingers eaten while planting? Sorry. Because if it's while planting, then that's fine. If it's while eating, then, uh, and if it affects the, no, no quest, cool. Um, rate of, uh, the star... Sorry, so if the f the green fingers f food bonus is like zero star one, star two, three, two, three star, does that increase the star rating of the food even more? Obviously, you can't go past three stars, but what I mean to say is, will it mean that my food can be um, three stars even if none of the conditions are met? So I don't have to plant fertilizer and it can be out of season? That I'd like to know. I guess the easiest way of finding out would be just planting one. I'd need to get some um, green fingers bonus first um, from the food. Whee! And then we're going to save, and we'll be going into Triassia. Which actually makes some of my checks a little bit easier, because I don't have to do as many. However, others not so much. It's a new day, which means new things to do. You're following me. Any poop in here? Can't see any. We will, however, check. Expand all. Dracano. Those three, those three. 
small oh wow we've got quite a few today but basically was it these three i think it was yep cool pick up the poop oh oh it's my budding day i almost forgot silly me I like just waiting for everyone to just send me the stuff in the mail. I forgot to put the path down as well. Oh well. I'll check to see if Marlo has any more login quests or quests on the board, sorry. So that'll be fine. Um, those three, these three. And then a bunch. So I think Maul and Dracano are a couple of them. I think Megalosaurus as well, actually. You're fine. How many more we got? Six. Okay, well, there's definitely another another large group that I've just missed. Expand all. Oh, those guys. And around a fan. Okay, loads of them. I've said things out loud that I haven't said since um, fan as a child. <laughs> as endearing. Very endearing. Right, those guys are happy. Dracano's turn. Once we've done the wood for Zara's quest, which is insane, by the way, um, I will be able to just get more large troughs again because I love my large troughs. Show me the poop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's an interesting one to have <laughs> on your mind to repeat. That's kind of funny as hell. Oh my god, why are you playing in it? Oh, I, I saw something the other day. The um, Taranki Senpai, Ginger Mimus, and um, I can't remember what I called the Sith in there. Um, that, that galley. that They had pooped near the food bowl, and I said, Don't shit where you eat! Like, I was like, I can't believe that's a thing. Today is Lord Reverend Dr. Corey's birthday. How lovely. I'm glad they've got my all, all of my titles in. Did I tell the trike to follow me? Yes, I did. Right, let's go check up on Marlo, see if he's got a quest, which he might not, or if the login quest, or like daily quests are there. And I'm hoping one of those is true. He did have another quest, because he said about the 40 wood, so he did give me that one. That wasn't a quest of his, but nope, he's not got a quest. Amazing. Potato, five should do. Garlic, six should do. Okay. Well, this will be four of the daily quests that I can do for him. In total and i don't have to go anywhere i can't remember how much he said yeah that should do it oh so you can buy pears from him maybe it's the first of the following month well just in case that we don't get a chance to see pears anymore i'm gonna grab those chat thanks you've earned it chat thanks you've earned it trade damn it to hell and friendship Oh, come on. I've done four now. Surely that should have leveled up. All right. Also, yeah, we did buy more than we needed for those, but that's fine. Uh, I always put the YouTube page, and apparently the VOD of the stream, I lost three and a half hours. Has some of the most views on my channel. Lol. Well, that's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, don't forget the, thing, the things are there. When is Marlo's budding day? I think it's summer. Memory serves me right. It might be Critumnus. It's one of those two. It's definitely not Triassia, as I've just checked. <laughs> these three, no. These two are a no. Oh. Oh. Uh, it's that color that always makes me think it's albino, and it's not. Uh, we're going to go to the desert first today. However, we are going to go hit some rocks with our good friend Trike. I think I put the Crunchy Poppins away. I did, like an idiot. Well, we should be fine on the stamina front, to be honest. Famous last words. Hippity hoppity, let's break some stuff. Look at try go. Just breaking things left and right. And one more. Beautiful. <sighs> now then. <laughs> I'm um, hoping the shinies over here are not shinies. 
I wouldn't mind a Pachycephalosaurus, just not a, not another Corothosaurus, please. Please. A, I don't want to have to tame another one of those nightmares. Two, B, I've just got, I've got, I've got two of them already. All right. I wouldn't say no to a melanistic one down the line, but right now I'm, I'm, I'm good, Chief. I'm good. Oh, I forgot the Utah Raptor spawns here now. Yay. Because we still haven't got an Octorail one of those yet. Uh, there's nothing that's going to spawn over there. It's um, somewhere that the fairies spawn there. That's good. We do get a Utah Raptor. I completely forgot about that. That's the five of you. That's you checked. Uh, we should only have skellies and triceratops to check in here, I believe. And then obviously the overraptor up top. Oh, there's rocks that spawn in here. I forgot about those. I ran past them several times as well. Hit the rocks. Hit the rocks, Jack. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I know it's hit the road, but you know. I've got to be creative a little bit. But yeah. Do you know what Marlo likes for his budding day? Because that'll be important. One, two, three. No. Damn. <laughs> Another Overraptor wouldn't be a bad thing. I'm, I'm looking forward to, like, before I was like, oh, it's the point in small dinosaurs. Now that I know that they have, like, a supreme purpose of just automation. Corey likes his automation. So I'm very excited. Uh, I think we have Styracos that spawn here, so I will check them. I, I've already got a Styraco shiny, but just because they've got quite a condensed spawn, it's easy to check. Um, so I will have a quick gander. Check the Utahs. The Velociraptors haven't spawned up there. That's fine. I am going to check to see if Marlo's got any quests here. Nope. I'm thinking of food that is irresistibly fragrant. As in the bonus. Doesn't that... Oh, I see what you mean if you get Gorthosaurus because it will, like, increase your chance of taming it, maybe? Or does it just not increase their friendship when you've tamed them? I can't remember. Like, some more the actions you do will, like, tame them better. Nothing on this side. And the posters don't spawn. So, I don't remember that. Right, I'm just going to pan the camera out while I have a vape, so I can see if I can see anything. As far as camera positioning goes, this wasn't too bad. I can see all but two of them. Nope, 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 nope. All right, that's the desert done. I think we have rocks that might have respawned around here, right? Yeah. Is there any more? Just these ones. If we can get Trike to level... Mm, I don't know when it starts becoming to the point where, like, just tilling all of it is possible. But that would be nice. But just spare stand would be nice as well, in case I do ever make the farm stupid large. Um, which should be fine on PC. I wouldn't do it, obviously, on the Switch, as we've learnt the lesson for um, for that from yourself, Meerkat. But on PC, it should be fine. Unless it's like a mem leak problem, in which case it doesn't matter where you do it, it's going to have problems. I'm getting plenty of stone and sandstone, though. I can confirm that much. I do need to yeet a lot of this away. <laughs> oh, boy, I can't wait for my budding day. I can't wait to see what goods Marlo has prepared for me or cooked. Oh, it's going to be a broom. Every year. I have like seven. No, it was to be five. No, it'd be six now. Are you in year six? We are. Six brooms. Marlo, mate. I don't, I don't need that much. <laughs> Please stop. Um... Done the two quests for Marla today. We just need to go there. I'm back. I only got one broom. Huh. Maybe you, you didn't get your friendship high enough until recently? I don't know then. But I can assure you. Oh, I forgot the centro spawn here too. I have multiple brooms. It is becoming a bit of a collection. And centros. Take a deep yawn, apparently. Uh. If I don't see a quest for Marlo soon, I will 
go back to night time as well because i know we get two baryonic spawns but i'm not too fussed about um two additional spawns really i only saw one over raptor why am i running away i see the second one i can run away <laughs> oh, my nose is giving me some jip i don't like it now how long have we been live one hour Ooh, one hour remains unless we find an ultra rare one hour remains I think I figured out the food is that it is the taste here. It helps with XP. Oh, so it does help with XP. Oh, that's interesting. If it helps with XP. I suppose you could test it by getting a dino that's like, like level one. Eating the food that it requires the irresistibly tick, crunchy, juicy, whatever. And then see how many interactions it takes to level up. And then maybe not level one, maybe two or three just so that it doesn't like because skew it too much and then do the same without it or with it and just effectively rule it out but i didn't know if it gave you xp if it does that's kind of useful not gonna lie i mean once again it'll be another game that i have slept on the food mechanic because i always do in simulation games and they always have great bonuses and i always regret it the only game that i've played that's like you know simulation or um life sim or fantasy or whatever but i've actually paid attention to the food mechanic is sunhaven because like every piece of food you get you eat gives you a permanent stat boost which is awesome in my professional opinion but yeah we'll um skip to night time for a marlo quest um probably in a couple of days not right now just because i'm genuinely curious but i guess we'll see I've just remembered a story. I'm gonna have a drink and then I'll tell you the story. It's funny. Right. Let me tell you a magical story from only a few days ago about a language barrier and how it hurt me physically. So, I went to the barbers. And obviously, uh, barbers in the UK are either usually English barbers or Turkish barbers. And I, I love going to Turkish barbers. It's just uh, uh, how I get my hair cut every time, right? So I go into the barbers. And I'm finishing up. And it's just getting to the back of my neck. Just to obviously, like, shave it down. And I was wearing a low-cut top, so like a V-neck. Um, so he takes my hair down to about here, which is kind of crazy. But I, I like it that way, um, in case I wear any shirts that are going to show anything. Um, and then he says, what I thought I heard was, do you want shave down to back? So like, usually they go down to about here, but they will go about lower if needs be. And that's what I thought I heard. I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he disappears and I'm thinking, what's he getting? Hedge trimmers. He comes back with a pot. It looks very warm. You can see steam coming out of it. So he gives it a second, lets it cool down. He then pours what's still quite hot wax on my back. The back of my neck up to about here. Down to about the top of my, I'd say, third or fourth spinal cord part. Column, whatever. Down. And it pulls the wax off once it's dry. Ow. Wasn't expecting it. At the end of the day, it keeps it like shorter for longer, and I ain't got any issues with that. But what I will take issue with is oh my god, what a giant pile of crap! Um, was um, how painful that was. So, this is soft fertilizer, so that means that came from our good trike friend. Hello, would you like to come with me? Great, I'm determined to just power level this guy, so I'm going to look into this food so i would need to make something irresistibly crunchy do i have recipes for that irresistibly earthy doesn't tell me energy boost 
Doesn't tell me. Doesn't tell me. Earthy, bounty, fragrant. Okay, cool. Let's just look at what we've got for irresistibly earthy. No, crunchy. Ah, oh, Paleo Punch, GG. There we go. Recipes. Boosts. Irresistibly crunchy. Apple pie. I don't know if I have apples left. Hazelnut butter toast. That sounds like fun. Pippin rice. Uh, I don't think I've got gooseberries for that. Pippin's crunchy carrot soup. I think I'd probably get some from Pippin, surely. Or I might have some still. I might have sold it. Nope, nope. Nope. Poach box. It's empty. Cool. So I don't actually think I got a broom this time. Oh my goodness. Uh, so we're going to quickly just throw everything. Oh, I still have the paths. I'll keep them up there. Apart from our crunchy poppins. Because we do actually want those. Um, for fuel. And then we'll go to food. Let's see if I've got hazelnuts. I do. So I could right now. In fact, I'll probably buy a cooking pot from Freya. Do I have carrots though? Yes. I can make Pippin's crunchy carrot, which is carrot, hazelnut, and wood, as well as wood and stone. So I need to get some wood and stone out. Not that much, admittedly. And wood, it's not that much, admittedly. And then that will be our recipe. Uh, anything else? Wood, stone, carrot, hazelnut, wood. No. Cool. Master is high enough. You can experiment and get it icy. Okay. I oh, will find out. Um, I thought mastery, to be honest, just meant that you could um, constantly uh, power level it. Effect. Not power level it. Power make it. So just make loads of in a batch. I'm not too sure. Where's the poop? Okay. Expand all. Right. We have Fina Taco. Tyrannophan. Okay. Let's just do the taco instead of the killer because we're over here. And Tyrannophant will be because there's no food left. I remember that was looking quite low, so. Oh, do we have... I swear Megalosaurus needed something the other day, but I can't remember ever doing that, though. All right, instead of what you got the problem of. Also, I've only picked the 99 food, oops. Could have done a little bit more, but that's fine. U3. I thought it was U3. I'm going to go there. It's going to... He expanded them all again. Yeah, it's been a taco. To run a phantom and a lure. So what's your three's major malfunction? Poop. Cool. Any more for any more? Because your happiness didn't go up. The hell is going on here? Where's the other poop? Oh, there. I... I yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, dearie me. On for a winner there, aren't I? Right. Those are the threes done. Which means it's just Tyrannophant and Allure. Allure's right here. Tyrannophant's there looking at the food bowl. And yours is quite low as well, actually. Oops. So I'm going to do. It's going to be poop for one. Put in 99 and then take out about 40 and pop it into um, that. I think that'll give me five days or eight days for the Tyrannosaurus Rex. One of those two numbers is right and then we'll be fine. There we go. So we've got that. I could have given more food to each of them to be honest but I just don't want to have to go through that effort right now. I'll go see if we've got any quests for Marlow and we will probably buy a cooking pot for our house. Um because I don't want to waste any basically XP possibly gained, especially if you're going around from now. So, let's go make this soup. Pippin's crunchy carrot soup. Uh, experiment. So we're going to make 
10 carrots. Cool. Five hazelnuts. Cool. Why can't I put wood in there? I must have to know this recipe. Oh, mastery 10. I have to know this recipe, don't I? Or do I have to increase my mastery for soups or stuff? I don't understand. Oh, I see. No, no, because this is the average mastery. Damn. No. Nope. Talk the other stuff then. If not the rice. Uh, I maybe mean, no, because Pippin stuff. I just can't. Plain toast. Is just flour and corn. I don't have corn. Great. Hazelnut butter toast. Flour, hazelnut, and coconut. Okay, maybe I can try that then. Or apple pie, failing that. Okay, cool. <sighs> so, we'll figure something out. Because I really do want to just try and get that sorted. Um, so that we can just see if it does help with the leveling. And if it does, then it's absolutely a must. Do I have apples? And I suppose if I got it to a higher level anyway, it'd be better. In fact, let's just have a look and see what we've got here. No, nothing looks like it will be what we need. Damn, okay. We might buy some then. I'll see if we can buy some. But apples, no, not enough. Do we have any corn? I didn't think we did. Uh, there we go. Coconuts. I only have one, so I can make one lot of this. <laughs> oh, and I need flour. Which I thought I did have. But I'm not seeing it. I swear I bought like a hundred flour. There we go. Cool. So we're going to make some hazelnut toast. Hazelnut butter toast, hopefully. So that's five flour, five hazelnut, one uh, coconut. Cool. I'm guessing you can't use wood in a recipe till you get Pippin's recipes, I suppose. Toast, please. Experiment. Five. Well, that's hazelnut butter toast already. So why does the coconut need it? It's not. But I'm already getting it. Interesting. I'm not going to put the coconut in and see what happens. So if I go back to toast... It's locked. Right, so I can't actually, like, auto-make it without having the recipe unlocked, so... You don't even need five, you only need three. Look at this. So once the mastery is unlocked, I can auto-make it. That's good to know. Cool. gonna make a couple of these basically three star might be better anyway so if we do go to the desert we'll be fine how many two more and i can actually just make it manually so
we have mastered it. Which means, yeah, there we go. It lets me auto cook, which is good to know. However, to auto cook it, you need coconuts. Fun fact. Um, so that's when you would need coconuts, um, unless you want to experiment and make it manual each time where you can just cut out the requirement. I have got so much stuff in my inventory. Good lord. I need to eat that so that we can see its effects. There we go. We now have it. Irresistibly crunchy. It is active. I don't know how long for. And I don't know how to check how long it stays on for or if I've still got it. So, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Um, but hey, that's fine. We can also check the shop, even though it's not weekend. So we'll check the food shop. Um, we won't get any star ratings, though. And I don't even know if the food shop will be open on a Tuesday. So, yeah, That is fine. But hey, we've, we've got crunchy on. I get to see if it affects too much. And wow, five greens. That's... Kind of crazy. Do we have any rocks spawn in here? No. We've got enough rocks out there, though, so we'll have a check up on that in a bit. Have a blur. Now, where do we go? Where do we go now? Over here. Uh, I will check, obviously, the, the town and stuff afterwards, because obviously we do need to get another cooking pot, and then, of course, check to see if they sell any three stars or one star or two stars. Though, I'm pretty sure it's only weekends. I can double check to see if it's even open still worth a check right i do feel like the xp is going up faster on this walk i could be wrong come on catch up good lord when i release these guys they run at the speed of light when i've got to take them on a walk or ride them i have seen snails fart faster where's your xp up there right i don't know if i see much of a difference <laughs> So, we shall see. I was thinking I did on the walk, but I don't know if I do on the interactions. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we've hit three to 45. Yeah, so they still use the same amount of stamina as well. I was just checking if it's got any other, like, hidden features, but... Hey, a coffee. Uh, one, two, three. There you are. Cool. No, 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 no. Where's the proto? They're up there. Supposed to help with happiness too. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I know, I know it will help with happiness. Like, um, it, like if you pet them and stuff. And obviously their interaction increases. And it, it probably um, helps if you get like a really difficult tame going on. Um, because you've not got the space or something. Something like that. And you haven't got enough friends for them. It probably does help massively. Not massively in my use case right now. Freya, tell me you're not at home. You are at home. God damn it. <laughs> it means I cannot buy a thing from you because you're not going to be there till midday. Pain in the bootay. Uh, well, there's two of them. There's the other two. Cool. Um, It could be helping with XP maybe in the walk as opposed to anything else. Ah, oh, the food person's there. Cool. That is grand. I didn't check the Storacos. So I'll go check them in a second. Trade. No. It looks like you do have some type of toast, though, which would have been time-saving. <laughs> I'm on the wrong dino. Good lord. That would have been very painful. Could you imagine having to walk at that speed the entire time? I'm good. Oh, there's something for you to hit here. There's a fly in this room. It's a tiny one, like a little fruit fly, but let's get in the way of the monitor. Oh, my God, I have a dreamstone, but I don't have all the things for the desert patch or biome. There we go. Yeah, so it absolutely will help in that sort of situation. Um, XP, I'm not too sure. Um, unfortunately, I would have, should have started with a lower level for a better control. Um, just to basically go yes or no. And once again, I'm using a zero star. That might have an impact. We don't know. So it might be just a little bit extra rather than 
a noticeable extra. Um, I feel like the recipes have gotten to the point that all the wikis and stuff should be to the point and the, the general knowledge to be the point that I should know or people should know, so I will check. Um, I really wish you could just click on the boost and it tell you what it does on this website. Paleo Pines. Irresistibly crunchy. Let's just type that in on Google. Complete cooking and recipe guide. That's from September, so I'm not trusting that. Uh, uh no, okay, nothing. So, Jam, the only thing I can think of doing is asking in the Discord. Um, that's usually a good way to go. All I could find was nothing. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way, unfortunately. I think I just saw an interesting Coelophysis colour, so I'm going to double check it. Yeah, those ones. those um, The yellow and the red head. I do like that one. I don't know if that's peach or what that is, but it's nice. Oh, God. Oh, what's the time? <gasps> 39 minutes remain, unless we find an ultra rare. What do you reckon, guys? Are we going to find an ultra rare today? I'd like to go longer, so we might go longer anyway, but I'd like to just get an ultra rare anyway. <laughs> I'm Discord and search from the Q&A channel. Ah. I forget that they have a Q&A channel. Where's the other two? Oh, they're behind each other. They're both yellow. Cool. And over here, the Megalosaurus is light green. No, okay. These two, coffee, I think vanilla bean and uh, coffee or vanilla bean there as well. And then, so it's Tyrannosaurus Rex, like Ultra Hopage, comes strictly now from picnics or until next uh, Cretumnus because, well, you can still find them in the meantime, but actually finding one would be an achievement in its own right. <laughs> because I'm expecting a noble or a cherry. Oh, I'll be damned. It's noble. <laughs> um, we've got the three Archipteryx. It's not a Monday, so it will be them as opposed to the Monday-coloured Megalosaurus over here. Plus, it would have been the start of the month because we're so early in. And that would all be auto, 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 Archipteryx. There we go. Automatically them because it won't show up on the first of the month. Fun fact for you. After, I think this is my fifth year or sixth year. I think this is my sixth year I'm starting. I don't know. Also, I didn't get a broom from Marlow, so I can't actually tell you how long it's been. <laughs> yeah, I think it's my fifth year. Because we still got my... No, it was my... That, this, is, this is my fifth year. Because I've got the average for six but i didn't get my average for seven which is what i was hoping for um so there we go and that is our shiny check done today only thing we've got really left to do is use strike to hit things i feel like trike's getting more xp from walking than usual but i could be wrong so there might be merit to it meerkat and to be honest i'm gonna do it again anyway because i've got the food now from experiment hash on So I don't know. Got to go hit the rocks over here. Because I forgot to do that. And that should take Trike up another level. Giving us even more stamina. Which is nice. Do I have anything else to do today? No, cool. Actually on the farm now we have 26 dinosaurs. <laughs> which is a crazy high number. Especially when poop comes around. There we go. Oh, you were quite caught up this time. That's nice. So, we'll go hit these rocks and head home. Smash. I don't know. It feels like it is a little bit more. I just don't know. You know? <laughs> okay. I guess the best way to check right now is just get a good eye for how much it's going up by because I'm staring at it right now. And then check tomorrow without evening peoples it's been a while <gasps> well hello spike i hope you're doing well 
It is the sword wielder, the frogman, and on several occasions, either Batman, Batfrog, or Master Chief. Work sucks ass. That sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, um, it's getting to Christmas, so any sector of work is going to suck. I can confirm. IT is no different. Every single sector will suck right until Christmas. Or if you have like periods where they black out certain sets of work, which happens in certain sectors. Maybe a little bit earlier, but yeah. I understand your pain. Right, I have not bought what I wanted to buy. Did I check up on Marlow today? In town. I'll check the quest log, and if I um, got a daily in there, then I know that I have. I just want my weekends back. Do you work weekends as well? And is it specifically for this month? Or is it you work weekends all the time as well? And, you know, get, getting some income in is always nice. Especially, I enjoyed it just because I could. But as the problem is, like, when you're younger, you, you want... You always work weekends. I had that same situation. The problem is you want your weekends. So, like, the money that you're saving for anyway, you don't get to use. 528 an hour is not enough, man. No, it is not. No, it is not. That's... Capitalism, baby. It sucks. Um, so, yeah. That's, that's horrific, mate. That genuinely is bad. Especially not... No, retail is massively underpaid. Oh, retail has a massive turnover, blah, blah, blah. Retail's not important, blah, blah, blah. Oh, but they're not stocking the stuff I need. Oh, I miss the stuff I need, but I can't get it. That means retail's important, Dingus. Yeah, but just stacking shelves shouldn't earn you a living wage. I'm sorry. Don't you need retail for your life? To live happy, you need to be able to go to the shops and buy what you want. So give them a freaking living wage. It is a necessary function to the point that during covid they were helping us out massively give them a living wage yeah i get it yeah that's the uk so because um living wage doesn't kick in till 21 so we have like a pay like minimum wage which is much lower and then you have a living wage which is crazy what, for Jurassic World Evolution 2? Uh, I know it obviously added in some new dinosaurs, but what else did it add? Uh, writing diary. Yes, we've, che we've checked everything. I can go to sleep. Only six dinos, and three of them are right here. Oh, that's made my day. Now, tell me it's not singles. <laughs> it's singles. Uh, Stark, okay, they're all in the same place, at least. That's that's kind of okay. So we're not... going to consume the crunchy until... Oh, not the crunchy, the um, toast, until we have had a look at... Um, Malik. Isn't it Revan? Was it Starkiller? I can't remember. Vader. Oh, it was Vader. It's so all the way over there, but that's fine. Um, until we've hit a couple of rocks so I can get a good idea if it increases it or not. Was it Vader? Oh, I've already forgotten. Good lord. Vader. Starkiller. So they're not close to each other, like I said. New variants, pack hunting prey, falling dinosaur animations. I assume the pack hunting um, is oh, something it should have been in the game to begin with. But I assume it's part of the update as opposed to the DLC. I can't imagine they'd lock an actual gameplay mechanic or a, I wouldn't say I'm a gameplay mechanic, but a, like a simulation mechanic behind DLC. But yeah. 
I miss playing JPOG. I was thinking about doing some JPOG content. Um, just because I miss it so much. Like, oh. The OG. Operation Genesis, that is. <laughs> and Original Gangster. It's just so good. It's just so freaking good, man. And even, like, going back to it. Like, I hate old games. Um, older games, I think, usually are, like, rose-tinted, nostalgia-based. It's like when people say you know generation one and pokemon's the best they're wrong <laughs> and they're like saying it based on nostalgia and i'm like eh. you gave a notebook to arani i can do that you need five stone i can do that cool accept and that except because you've not got any quests <gasps> you need four garlic was that oh fiber and you give me garlic okay cool off you got in stock today actually while i'm here that's three quests by the way that we're getting for him that'll take me to seven daily quests oh Oh, I've got to take the notebook to Arani, I see. Okay, it wasn't get the notebook from Arani, it was give it to Arani. And I'm guessing Arani is not here right now. Nope. So we have to go to the desert. Do you show your Pog videos, no balls? Yeah, I might do. I might try and get as many mods in it as possible and call it, like, Cracked JPOG. Uh, no, because people will think that, I mean, I've, like, cracked the game as opposed to JPOG that's just insane. Oh, there's only one rock that... Oh, there's three. So there's only one rock that spawned. How am I going to get a good baseline? <laughs> Three will be all right. And I also don't know if there's a difference between the XP gain from those rocks and the sand rocks. So, you know, baseline is going to be interesting. But hey, you done your Spotify? I don't use Spotify. I use um, Apple Music, and they have got a version of that, but I haven't done it yet. I can tell you, I know exactly what's going to be on there, though. A lot of weeb stuff. Um. Let's hit another rock, because I wasn't paying too much attention. <laughs> Great baseline. Okay, I've got a good idea of how much that was. Do you know what? I think it might. We will keep an eye on it. Um, but I really need to get a three-star version of it, so I can test, because... Obviously, the star rating makes a difference in food. I need to see if it does increase XP. You've got 120,000 minutes listened this year. Let's see if my music thing pops up, actually. Because it gave me an option of it earlier, and I just said I wanted to listen to my music. Go to my thing. My account. Upgrade, set a profile. Account settings? No. Right. Maybe. Uh, subscriptions, purchase, history, manage. No. Um, notifications, maybe. No, okay. Library. I'm going to close music down completely because I had it open before. <laughs> no, it's not giving me the option anymore. It might on my Gmail, which is what it's linked to. Let's see if I got an email from Apple Music. No. No. Let's check promotions and social. No. Okay. Oh, Apple Music, your 2023 is ready. Explore your replay. Jump in. Continue, yes. I tell you now, Mr. Spike. Jump in. This is your replay. Uh, Linkin Park. Uh, this it seems massively under. Uh, but Linkin Park, 1134 minutes. Hollywood and Dead, 926 minutes. Breaking Benjamin, 537. Alicia Cara and The Warning, 481 minutes. Lil Nas, 476. Our Last Night, 444. Katy Perry, 376. Black Caviar, 375. Black Quay, 375. Avenged Sevenfold, 360. Skillet, 354. Three Days Grace, 352. Jack Harlow, 322. Nay Wants to Battle, 286 minutes. Top Songs. Enter the Sand, Enter Sandman uh, by Alicia Cara and The Warning, 155 plays. S&M Hardstar by Poseidon, Zizmode and Tazzy, 147. What's Up Danger, 143. Industry Baby, 123. Usual Suspect, 119. Top Genres, Hard Rock, Metal, Rock, Alternative, and Pop. 
these milestones, I have played over 100 artists, 250 songs played. Um, which means I don't listen to much variation. I, it doesn't tell me how much minutes I've listened to. 19,000. I love Breaking Benjamin too. Yeah, they're on my list. Also, I need to close that browser down because that was playing copyrighted music. But only 19,000 seems dangerously low for how much I actually listen to music. But I do listen to a lot of music while not connected to anything, like like um, mobile data or Wi-Fi, which is I, what I think it monitors from. So, <laughs> that might be it. Um, this is a fresh day, isn't it? Yes, I've got quests to do. I've got to turn something into Rani. Fine stone, fiber. Okay, cool. We'll do those at the end of the day. Let's just do our checks now. Um... Where's the second one of you? Oh, for goodness sake. Stop being a pain in the back end there. Right. Okay. Now. One, two, three. No, no, no. Those guys, no. A lot of mine would just be distractible. Is that the podcast? Uh, yeah, that is the podcast, I'm pretty sure. Um, whereas I'm, I'm just like my music. So I listen to it a lot. Probably not as not much as you do, Frog, but I do think 19,000 is vastly under the actual number. I actually checked on the Allo for the first time in years. Um, so it is interesting, but yeah, Breaking Benjamin and Three Days Grace still being in that list, uh, despite me shoulding, should have having grown out of them like 15 years ago is not is not insane to me. Yeah, Mark, Bob and Wade, that's the one I thought it was. I will never forget the story of the um, refrigerator from that podcast. I was dying inside. I was crying with laughter. My partner showed it to me. And we were just... It was, it was a work of art sitting through and listening to that. I do remember it. I'm assuming you know what I mean when I say the refrigerator episode. Because <laughs> uh, that one is probably going to go down in, like, in my opinion, in podcasting history is one of the best things. Like... Um, alongside the Adventure Zone's original arc, um, that is just unmatched, in my opinion. I enjoy Critical Role, but their early stuff took a while to get into it and stuff like that, but Adventure Zone's first arc is by far the best piece of Dungeons & Dragons, like, podcasting ever. Um, in my opinion, I must stress, um, I do like stuff like Aventurus, um, and of course, of course, Critical Role as well. There are some absolutely amazing moments in each of those and other ones I, I need meaning to check out. But yeah, the fridge story. Oh my god, that like oh both the situation and how it was told are works of art. Um and I will not uh, like back down on that statement. Right, Arani is not here because uh screw me, am I right? Um they might be a bit later though, so I'm just gonna check to see if this is here. So I might need to speed time up and come back here during midday. You do not have any three stars. I'm starting to think it definitely is weekend. The bread episode. I don't think I've what listened to the bread. Trike. Move. Trike. I'm going to end you. You are saying. I know what you're saying. Why don't you just get on it? Well, because I'm stubborn. And I'd want to drive trike into a cliff. Um, But yeah, it's... It's uh, definitely, while well, I haven't checked out the bread episode, I'll have to listen to that to run off because it does sound interesting. This is funny as the, um... oh, I didn't hit rocks with you. I don't know that first. If this is funny as the kitchen episode, then, not the kitchen, the fridge episode, then, oh. Oh, I'll have to give it a, a wee listen to. My leg is giving me, oh, chip. There we go, sorted. I try, I try to go out of my way to tell stories like that as well. Uh, I do like adding a bit of flavour to stories. It's just, it's fun. I feel like if I ever, like, did something interesting, I would love, but I know you shouldn't do audiobooks if you're not, like, licensed to. It's kind of illegal. I'd love to read a book. Um, I'd have to do several takes because of my speech apaxia, but I'd love to. I mean... 
you've all heard me read that absolute l literature work of art from um uh amazon review for the hair removal cream as well as the sugar-free haribos but just maybe just finding like the worst pieces of literature on the internet that are like free non-licensed stuff would be a bit of fun and reviews like that i mean there's nothing more fun than reading in a fancy accent saying that someone will try to put a Brussels sprout. Oh, there are! There's an albino Dinochirus. I was about to say the word arse and an albino Dinochirus has graced the screen. That's kind of funny. Um, Let's do the rest of our checks and come back to this guy. But that is, I think... I think number 26 or 7. Escape room, holy shit, moments, etc. Yeah. I can't believe it. Uh, I've been wanting another Dinochirus. This is kind of awesome. Um, getting more sticky fertilizer is great. Kind of working my own audiobook series that I'm considering releasing on the channel. Awesome. Just remember if you're doing anything, um, like, for example, if you're writing your own book, you're fine. If you're writing your own um, literature, you're fine. If you are audio re reading um, stuff from, like, for example, any of Michael Crichton's work, I would stop before you release it because I'm pretty sure it's um, against terms of service because uh, it is copyrighted stuff. So, like, you wouldn't, like, post a book online. It's the same as if you read it. I believe there was a ruling in that favor before, so be very careful if that's what you were planning to do. It's of my own creation, then you will be 100% A-OK. -okay. And I look forward to hearing your literature. I have done a couple of pieces of short stories. Um, one, I actually tried to write a novel. Um, I got I got pretty far in, but only, I think it was like a couple hundred pages, and I just I stopped. I should have gone back and done more, because I'd done all the storyboarding in front of that. Uh, I had it... I had my short story, which I did first, and I did my novel, which was kind of based on the short story, but not really, because it didn't have the same message. So, I listen here. This was done during my college times. This is not a dig to America. This was more... It was supposed to be a thought piece, and I would like to elaborate before anyone comes after me. So, it was... Um, it, oh, I can't remember what I called it. It's something amendment. It wasn't like the obviously like the right to bear arms. It was based on the right to bear arms, but in a different way. So it was centered. Did I check the desert? I did. I need to go get um, the stuff ready for an albino. And I'll also check to see if Freya's about and Arani's about. And also pick up some fiber stone, etc. So it was about the right to bear arms. It was about a superhero. Well, not a superhero. Superhuman, to be exact. Who, um, in defense of others killed someone on accident so um he punched an attacker and he killed the attacker um but because he was an individual he obviously punched him really hard and he he he, he absolutely destroyed this human effectively um because he was super strong so he was put on trial and the short story was around when he was on trial and how as an a, you know an enhanced individual you know does he technically get to have human rights and it was a lot, a lot of conversation around that they were also saying well you know he's he's exuded force and you know taking him down won't be easy if we need to if he becomes a threat etc but the main point of the focus was that this person was being completely like ripped into for using his super strength to defend others and yet on the same breath they were like, oh, well, the guy with the gun was fine. You know, okay, he, was, he was clearly not well. You know, you couldn't, you shouldn't have killed him. He was going to attack people, kill people, etc. And the point of the parallel I was trying to draw was that they were scared because they couldn't control him and they couldn't do much with him. And yet, if he was a guy, a good guy with a gun, he would have gotten away with it because that's fine. But because it's something that not everyone can access and there's not something they can control in terms of that and it's not something that's going to make them money they didn't like it so the point was it was supposed to draw parallels between gun um gun violence and the right to bear arms and someone having an enhanced individual ability now that it's not a dig at the rights it was just a thought piece so there you go that was one of my short stories 
um there's quite a lot to it and i really enjoy it because i had to do a lot of research on american law for it <laughs> i've lost a lot of that law by the way and that knowledge gone but it was genuinely an interesting um thing that i'd done i think if i ever rewrote that i'd use that as the basis for the novella as opposed to what i actually wrote from the novella, which is um effectively i crap you not the entire plot of mr glass i wrote that years before because I, I watched unbreakable when i was a child and i wrote this back when i was in college and mr glass and it came out like six seven years ago i was in college like nearly 15 years ago <sighs> which disappointed me because <laughs> now i will never rewrite that one but i might if i consider it rewrite the um he'll get there eventually um right to bear arms one but it's a bit more of a politically charged climate now than it used to be so i don't think i'll ever write and if i did i sure as hell wouldn't publish it and if i did i'd definitely publish it under a freaking ghost name because my god been working on high school it's supposed to be a part of my past oh, that's pretty cool um but yeah once again i must stress that story not a dig it was an observation uh think of it like a third party observation like if you wanted to do an observation of the uk you could just point out that the um noblesse class or noble class if you will still exists today um and it's just as nefarious so hey i'd point that out too if i were you <laughs> oh and of course that we can't cook food properly <laughs> And I believe that was part of, not sociology, it was um, my public services um, diploma. I did it as part of that, as part of a sociology and politics uh, module. Oh. That fire's getting on my nerves. Die. Um, I forgot what I was doing. Walking Dead, the forest in Jurassic Park. So... Zombies, mutants, and dinosaurs. Do humans not get a break in your series? <laughs> um, what am I looking for? Oh, Dinochirus. You are a spicy. Lovely. Right, well, okay. First off, let's get some peppers out. Second off, let's get some spicy stuff. I did not get spicy. I did. Cool. I need to go to Pippin and just basically buy a shed load of poppins soon. Oh, it's dinosaur, dinosaur post-apocalyptic horror series. That's pretty cool. Isn't there a series, either a show or a game coming out? I can't remember. About like a samurai dinosaur set in a post-apocalyptic world where dinosaurs have ruled the earth and I can't remember what it's called. And I want to say samurai. I can't remember if it is samurai, but it, I feel like it's like cyber samurai, like cyberpunk samurai aesthetics going on. I need to remember. Because I'm pretty sure I saw like a Shogun in it. I was like, okay. <laughs> I thank you. I'm not surprised at all, Tyrannos, that the person that was able to remind me was Tyrannos Senpai. <laughs> because obviously you've got a dinosaur and a... Um, I'm not going to say weeb-based name, but a Japanese-inspired name. So, the fact that the thing that I just described combines those two things, that that was the wrong Dinochirus, you can go away, please, um, is not, like, lost on me. I'm trying to not get your attention. Your Stop moving. Still around in the story I'm making, but what left the human race is trying to survive in, yes. I'm not saying it was similar. I'm just saying it reminded me of that. I completely forgot about that series until you reminded me, and I, I remembered that was on my radar. I've heard good things about the Monarch series, by the way. Oh, you in light green? Oh, I think you're just in light green, but I can't really tell. So we're going to just give you a spicy anyway. Enjoy your popping. I have to think of a name for this guy. So it can be a dino or a k. And there we go. You're now fully in there. Are you going to be befriended? Let's find out. Yes, you are. So we've already got dino boy. So a D or a k. Let's have a look through our people on our Discord. For C, Crasher. Dino Crasher. <gasps> no, even better. 
dino chameleons. Dino chameleon. Monarch has been really... Oh, sick. I'm going to have to check that out then. Dino chameleon. There we go. Glorious. I get to tell you you have a home soon. It's going to be great. Can I pet you first? I now have two dinosaurs I have to drag around. <laughs> Dimelian? Eh, dino chameleons just plays funner, in my opinion. Because the cur. That works. Got another one. I still need an ultra that's going to give me a Vicente name, and that does mean we are now going for 40 minutes rather than 10. So we have got a little bit longer now, which is good because I've got loads of quests to turn in for Marlo. I need fibre and stone because I threw everything away. I love the paint. Uh, I love the faint pink stuff on the albinos too. It is quite a nice um, sort of colour pattern. I tell you what, I would love um, orange and white or orange and black. You know me, I like my oranges. They could have done a little playful one and done black and orange and called it the Slade colouring. You know, nod to, you know, Deathstroke. Be a bit of fun for those who grew up with Teen Titans. Welcome to the chat room. What? Did the stream just restart or something? It just gave me a welcome to the chat room. I don't know what that is, but all right. Uh, I don't, also don't know why I came in here, to be honest. It also features scientifically correct animals. The Selim elements added to elevate the horror. Yeah. Well, that's what Jurassic Park did. And Jurassic World did. They added stuff to elevate the horror. But I'm guessing when you say added elements, you don't mean that they won't be inaccurate. You mean that there's extra stuff going on. Might I suggest prehistoric bugs? That will get the horror flowing. I'm losing my mind on what I need to do. Uh, we need these out now and this I'll keep out. But we also need fiber. Was it stone he needed? I'm pretty sure it was. So... And then we need to see if Iran is in. Which we might be lucky if we set it to rush. Fiber and stone, yeah. And then I'm going to quickly... Oh. Go back, give the fiber and stone back, and then do the Irani quest. And see if we've increased friendship with him. Are any really vicious prehistoric insects? No, but in a world filled with, you know, dwindling resources and food, they might be vicious. If after this, my friendship does not... Oh, it does. It does. I'm a close friend. I'm a close friend. It has increased. Meerkat, I can flat out confirm they do increase the friendship. That was six um, before a friendship thing, but thank you so much for telling me. Um, <laughs> it's still not got the large water. How much friendship did you increase with him? None of the large stuff is available yet. I don't think I got even more of a discount either. I didn't have a chat that basically said that, oh, you're going to be more friendly now. So no, I think that that's the giveaway. But it does increase, which is good to know, because I should probably just pick up as many dailies for all of the guys as possible, basically. Um, very, very good to know. I did wish your Rani would increase your inventory space just one more time, or maybe one row over. That'd be even better. Tag is just an old and battle scarred Tyrannosaurus, which is inspired by Dynamo. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, I need to go find your Rani now. And hand that notebook quest in. Because the quests are very important, it would seem. Um, because if I'm waiting for him to give me a daily, uh, an actual quest. And I'm just doing dailies in the meantime. It's going to increase friendship so much. And we'll check out Budding Day as well when it rolls by for him. It does mean I'm using some of the extra time we've got. Away from potentially getting another ultra rare. Which I know kind of sucks. But I've not given this guy his home yet. So I need to remember that as well. Oops. <laughs> And hopefully Freya's there so I can buy myself a cooking pot. So I don't need to go to Round Owen's corner every single time. So you know, we've me a few anime and manga tropes. Oh, 
is one of the dinosaurs a sundere <laughs> a yandere even oh you're going to push the boat out or ha have you found all of marlo's sculptures yes so parasaur pippin and moon right poppin sorry you're not the person i wanted but i'll still speak to you avery Raniagami, okay, blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. Still working on it. Oh, I forgot he wanted mac and cheese. Arani's not there yet, but Freya is, so we'll grab our cooking pot. Tell me it's just a straight up buy. I don't need the stone or something. Oh, I do have stone on me, so maybe I'm all right. Yeah, I, I, that's great. Thank you for the cooking pot. Arani's not in. It might be the case that Arani's not working today. Who knows? So, I hate Asundere characters. Really? Freya? Freya in this game, you said you like Freya. Freya's definitely got some suns and tendencies. Thank you. Thank you very much. She definitely does. She's been playing it cool. I, I think I didn't notice. <laughs> Um, so it might be an exception to the rule I get that but Freya isn't single so that's true that's true that's usually like a, a giveaway of a Sunday um, where is Arani there stylist the question mark question mark makes me think we are almost certainly getting the swamp or another area because you have question mark question mark for her and then for pippin they have not got question mark question mark but they're, they're sometimes just completely a wall as well and i'm assuming agami will be there as well but i just don't know or maybe that's because i've not found um Ag um arani's home i'm not seeing arani anywhere it's gone past midday and Arani's not there. So I can safely say Arani's not going to be about today. So I can't finish that quest. She's just antisocial. And you say Freya's not single. Who's Freya with? Which one of the bachelors? Is it Avery? In which case, wouldn't Avery be there rather than near the other houses? Unless they're like not living together, in which case fair play. But also that just incre increases revenue. Arani. Ah, okay. That actually makes sense then. They've got the money because they both are merchants. That's a power couple, guys. That's a power couple. Um, I'm forgetting things. Aren't I? Yes, giving this dino uh, at home. Cool. That could have been dangerous. And also checking to see if it's friendships like Max before I let it go through. What the hell are you doing outside? Aww. You have a friend. Oh, wait. Do you already recognize this is your house? No. Aww. I have to go inside after. Cool. Are you okay with that? Yes. But you're unhappy that there's poop. Oh, my goodness. They don't tell me when there's poo in here. I don't know why. Could you stop that? And then... Because look, it just piles up because they don't get unhappy from it. And they might now there's three of them. You've enjoyed your walk. You've enjoyed being here. You've enjoyed your treat. And you're happy that you've got guests. So, great. That is now two Dino Kyra shinies. Kind of crazy. Ah, uh, getting Arani to move in with Freya, or at least that's what the Discord said. So they finally do get the thing. I've done a countless questions for them because they're too shy to talk to each other until I can help arrange a date. That's hilarious. They're both too shy. That That's a common trope as well. I'm going to put my cooking pot right here on this corner because I like it being there. Access storage. 
No, no. Mm, I'm going to go put the paths down while I remember. Um, and remember, because I moved one of the watering pots, it's not going to be fully watered over here. I'm aware of that now, so I'm not too fussed. Oh, you're not going to do this because... No, you are. Fantastic. How close are you to leveling up? Uh, not even halfway, but I didn't eat that popping today, so maybe that was it. Who knows? But I think we, we're good with the amount of X, um, like XP we've got currently. We'll just keep tilling effectively from now on. Honey pie is just a endearing name. It doesn't have to be a hitting on. Neither she was. They could be Polly. You don't know. And oh, here's a fun story. Um, for when I grew up. Oh, like I, I always had these like misunderstood words monopoly was one of them so it didn't make sense to me because in my brain i was going mono one poly many wait what <laughs> i thought it was like a conundrum and my brain was just like not understanding it but it, it, it means different when obviously you combine the words but my brain genuinely was processing it as mono monopoly why is the mon no <laughs> It doesn't make sense. Who was the last one? Nicholasaurus, yeah. So that, I just thought of that. Oh, you need food. Um, based on, obviously, breaking the word down, but that only came to my brain because we were talking about, like, we said, oh, they might be hitting on you, but I don't think they are. Uh, you've enjoyed the company. Also, are any of you unhappy about the fact there's no herbivore food in here? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a food run. No, I don't want to waste time. We've only got 30 minutes to find another ultra rare. Come on, I can do this. Let's just give me a Glossaurus the food. That's the only one that needs it right now. Don't need that much. Uh, but I'm just going to do a small food run while I'm here, actually. Just a small one. Just, 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 just a small one. Yeah, Orani calls everyone honey pie. There you go. I'm one woman man. I'm not a character in high school. See, yeah, fair enough. You're not, but Polly's exist. And they might be a poly couple. You might not even be comfortable getting with someone who is poly. And that's fair enough. Some people are not. And that's the great thing about everyone. Have, everyone should be able to have a choice. Is this that we're all pretty easy with that. Right? Yeah. <laughs> even if you don't want to be a harem protagonist. <laughs> You're definitely not. Fair enough. I'm not. I'm not either. I can confirm. But hey, there we are. There we go. That that sorted itself out once that worked. Um. Oh, I want spicy. Have I got spicy on me still? I do. Great. Let's give you that. I don't think I'm going to need to give you much more though, because you're a happy little bean. Otherwise, aren't you? Might need to give you a pet. Yes. And then a walk. But trike doesn't need walks anymore in my opinion because we've got a high enough level if it's a teenager maybe yeah but some people when you're a teenager you don't know fully where you're gonna go what you want with your life and that that's fair enough like, i'm not saying teenagers are dumb i hate that trope teenagers don't know what they want what i'm saying is you haven't fully realized everything that you want not that you don't know what you want that's a bad way of putting it but it might change as you get older and guess what either way is fine the little wiggles. The little wig what? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I enjoy saying it though. Um Right. Hopefully Arani is in today. And do I have the book with me still? I didn't stop stole that away, did I? No, I think you don't get put in your inventory anymore, I don't think. If it does, uh oops. 
<laughs> Oops is the only word I can produce for it. Blood his eyes. Dinocaris wiggles. Oh, okay. Oh, in the Discord, that reminds me. Um, people have been like fact looking up um for all of the different dinos because some of them have some unique animations with all of the different furnitures. Where's this stupid and Kylo? I think it's inside here. No. I really do. Oh, it's there. But I don't give a damn about it enough to look for it too much, but there it was. Um, so I'm going to go check before I go to Arana in case there is more Arlo, um, Arlo Marlo um, quests. But they, like, they have animations with different pieces of furniture, the storage box, um, like some of the seasonal furniture. All the different dinosaurs have different ones, like scratching their back against stuff. And people were finding them all. They were like going through, like, I need to find them all. Yep. It was in the Discord. It was like a whole thing, like, the day before yesterday. They were just constantly investigating. I found it fascinating. Hello, you've got something for me, Spice Getty. Um, and we'll leave that be. Spice Getty is a hell of a name for spaghetti. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have a moment to spare. Guess what? Neither do I. So get out of the way. Ah, because I've still got one open, it won't give me one. Damn. I haven't seen any either, which is why when people were showing them off in the Discord, I was like, oh my god. There's so much to the game that people are just scratching the surface of. Just so much, right. I can almost imagine the bigger animals scratching themselves in the trees you plant. That would be interesting. I don't know if that's one of them, but... Yeah, if you go into the Paleo Pines discussion channel on Discord, you should see the um stuff. Right, I'm going to go find Arani because Arani's got one of the quests that we need to do for Art Marlo. And we'll just try and find as many daily quests going forwards for Marlo and just checking to see if he's there at his home and if he's at his home, if he's got any quests, if he's out logging, if he's got any quests, and just hoping we get a quest. I'm guessing I'm going to need even more than six or seven daily now based on actually I did six or seven and a normal quest for one level unless it's the same amount each time in which case great doing quests for Avery and Zara are such a pain yeah I imagine Zara not so much because I apart from the fact Zara needs like hundreds of thousands of resources but Avery being in different places and like maybe not even being there is probably not great <laughs> I would imagine Do we have any more ultra rares? Are we gonna go up to eight or are we finishing R7? Hey, getting one ultra rare on our stream is always great either way. We didn't get one last time. But before that we were getting like two or three, so you know. Or four. <laughs> yeah, it had to simmer down at some point. Two Serados and that guy, no, cool. What have we got up there for our protos? Nope. And very easy to spot this time as well. I'm appreciative of that. I want it in a difficult position. I can't freaking stand them. I get them to the last two dreamstones. Oh, wait. So Avery and Zara do give out dreamstones. Great to know. So everyone might have a dreamstone sort of potential. Some of them do at least. Which is fine. Because I've got plenty now. But I might get to the point that I might look at modding the game. I don't know if anyone's made a mod. If they haven't, I will try and figure out a way to do it myself. Either finding the debug tool or finding the config file and doing it myself. Avery gives a small, Zara gives a large. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Once again, with Mary's um, dino storage, I can, I can live with what I've got currently. But I would love to have like a ranch with a hundred ultra rares on it. That would be. That's the dream right there. And the fact that I'm not stopping every time I find an ultra rare now while I'm playing off camera just gives me more time to play this game, which I love. Um, like, I might try and stop at the picnic and, and go through the picnic and check that I'll get an ultra rare. And if I do, then I'll stop and record that so that I've got another picnic episode. But other than that, I'm too crazy. I checked in there and I didn't check for a Rani. I'm stupid. I don't even think I've been to Dapplewood today. Then run out of space and I'm like, that's true. That's true. And then at that point, I could just stick them with Mary. But, you know. With the same mod, I could turn down their space requirements and I could put them in pens. The size of them. And that is it. Uh, is Arani here? Arani is here. Yippee 
I know you've got a quest, but I've got one too that I need to finish. So sorry, I don't want another one in my list. I've got too many. Dino Chameleon has leveled up. Thank you. Bye. What is my retinue of quests? Too many. <laughs> we will, however, sort that. I also need to find out how I bring Owen and Mary back together. Because they hate each other right now, and that, that's been the case for ages. <laughs> Down to the last section of my ranch, thanks to my Desmatosuchus. Fair enough. You're stronger than me. Did you at least call it sepsis like I planned to? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it really terrifyingly bad names, like Sepsis. Capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to be a menace to any Desmodosuchus but shiny I find. 100%, if I get a melanistic one, I'm calling it Sidious, because that's like the ugliest Sith. Yeah. Nope, I call her Daisy because her skin is wax flower. Fair enough. Here's your reward. You gave me a saddle. Actually, that's not a bad reward. Does that open up the quest uh, section in here? I don't know. Did we get a sixth one now? We did. Awesome. <gasps> the lucky trinket. I wonder where it could be. Oh, there it is. So I know there's two spawns in here now. It's here or in front of his um, thing. I wonder because I completed it today. Oh, he still had a... um thing above his head and he just called me a true friend and we still only have medium water bells <sighs> damn it hell. but i'm guessing that was his way of confirming that we're close friends now as opposed to anything above that okay so that opens up more i'm so ready for this Stay still for you. I don't know what that means. I could just power through these. I could do a whole episode of just doing daily quests. Or not even daily. Just doing the quest board. Increasing everyone's friendships. And getting back to Marlo's quests. This is awesome. I don't know about where they are in the other places. But you can absolutely check the Discord. Because that's what I do. Or just Google it. And it will be on like the gamer discussions um, forums. I know what I'm doing off camera. It's going to be lots of those quests. Lots and lots. That is going to be great. I figured out how the standing... St ah, so how did you do the standing still quests? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, make two servings, one to Granny Agami, one thing. I'm guessing that's going to be for their joint quest, which is good. Um, right. I don't think I have anything else that I need to do today. I might have to. Let's see how friendly you are. I didn't go to Dapplewood. <laughs> I didn't shiny check Dapplewood after all of that. Okay. And I know what my luck is like. That would mean missing out on a shiny if I didn't. It would be Schrodinger's shiny, but I can't take that risk. That is very useful to know, Tyrannos. Thank you very much. Because I would have just brought him a taco next to him and gone, here you go, here's a taco. So thank you very much. That is uber helpful. Right. Megalosaurus? No. I feel like I've done enough daily quests for him at this point that he might have a quest uh, otherwise, but I don't know if it will be an outside the world quest. And he would have proceeded to eat it. Yes, he would have eaten the taco. That's 100%. Usually near the base salt. Oh, um, by the Velociraptor base salt. Is that? Or um, underneath the mine, sort of, the mine entrance sort of base salt. But here it is, Meerkat. The, uh, I'm going to call you the Honorary Paleo Pines Expert Group. That includes you, Tyrannos. And I like to think I 
have a small spot on that list due to my constant need to experiment and figure things out like I do in every simulation game. I'm calling us the Paleo Pine Expert Squad or the PES. However, I would like to point out it's actually PPES, which is funny because PPs. Um, we are the PPs. <laughs> um, but yeah, just walk around, look for the town, look for the dot that doesn't belong to a wild crop. Yeah. I just don't like having to look, <laughs> so I always Google it. But I know the ones in the um, plaza pretty much by, by heart now, so I don't need to look it up, which is nice. I don't remember checking the thing in the last couple of days because I've not seen these Wiros. I've just been running past them. They've probably been there and I've just not looked at them, which is not ideal. Uh, hey. Your contribution is for a picnic. Yes. I've been spending that knowledge of the plague. So have I. So have I. That, that knowledge is, in my opinion, very bloody useful. Meerkat has come in clutch with food mechanics, farm mechanics, the actual ranching side of it, Meerkat's knowledge is, and of course the quest as well. And you've got just pretty about much everything as well to run off. So like between the three of us, there's not much about this game we don't know yet. <laughs> and I like that because being able to console either of you is always great. Always great. I love just like going into Discord and seeing there's like eight messages in gaming stuff, which either means Tyrannos has gone through and found something or an ultra rare, or Meerkat has provided me a scientifically and mathematically proven and sound explanation for something. And I'm like, yes, this is what I needed. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. I saw someone in Discord was pointing out they had 20 ultra rares. People are like, wow, wow. I'm thinking to myself, they might have had more than 20. That was just 20 that they were showing off. Which means I might be, I think I'm in the top 10% of people who have the amount of ultra rares. And I will take that to my happy, happy, happy self. Right, anything to do today? No, let's go to sleep. And we've got 13 minutes left on stream. But if I start a new day after this one, I'll technically, I'll, I'll finish the day. I never like leaving a day unfinished. Six time. Oh, you're being too kind to me. Only six. Is it this, these lot? No. Cool. It's not a picnic. You see two ultra rare true dollar. I will actually genuinely. I, I I don't know. I'll be very happy. Right. Let's get you on the thing. Do you have any requirements today? No, you're just pleased with your patch. Let's give you a pet. And a spicy popping. Whoa, I had to go quite far back for that, apparently. How much does that increase? It quite a lot. Oh my goodness. Right, let's get our pen checkage. So it's the crow. Dinobi. Is Dino Boy, sorry, not Dinobi. Is not happy, and I can see good reason. I didn't put food in here when I was planning to. Uh, so we'll go for these three as well as those guys, but I'm just going to quickly get some herbivore and carnivore chow to keep it nice and spaced out in there. Uh, food for the dino, so boop, get rid of pretty much everything else in here. Oh, don't need that much to be honest for um, that small enclosure. And Herbie, I uh, don't need that much either, but hey, here we are. <laughs> I'll do this quick bit of poop. Oh, that's not all of it. This is why we double check. There we go. Come on, let me on. Beautiful. But knowing that you can just get as unlimited or possibly unlimited, there might be an actual number to it from the quest board is very useful. Especially now I know it definitely increases friendship. That is going to make me very happy. Oh, that wasn't the full amount. There we go. Who have we got left? Two. And who are they? Grievous and Revan. Amazing. I feel like one of those might be food-based. Nope. Grievous is not food-based, which means there's poop in here somewhere. I see it. No, that was the plant. There it is. And neither of them are food-based, so I don't know what's going on with them. Still got loads of food, and I don't think I'm ever going to run out. Um, 
and I can always buy more. And also, we need to till the ground, but I'm not going to do that because right now because I want to focus on other stuff. And I do need to remember we are getting close to the 9th. That will give us to the 12th, I'm pretty sure. But it came out on the 2nd last time, so maybe I plant it on the 8th and then either leave the watermelons overnight or just harvest them early. I don't know. And then who's the last dino? None of them, but I need to stick this away. I will, um, if we do finish it on this day, I will um, instead, at the end of the day, off camera, just do some tilling. Just so we can get some level out. I'm also making a mental list of the ultra rares. Yes, we have all like now got to the point that we can just go, I haven't seen that before, and you have to double check or know that it's an ultra rare. Which is very, very, very useful. I also know the moment I finish this stream, I'll find another one. <laughs> I know my luck. Do you have a quest? You don't have a quest. That's fine. Do you have a quest on here? You don't, which is also fine. Because we can just power through some of these. Can you deliver a hat? Wood, fibre, wood, fibre. Oh, if I get a little wood and fibre, I can pick up... Are you selling garlic, or do I have to go back to my place to get it? You're selling garlic. Amazing. <laughs> I just picked up every single one of those. Thank you. No worries, chat. Sweet at sunset. You want to stay the night, so I've just become better friends, which I don't know if that gives me a better discount. I don't think you can get better discounts, but it might have expanded your stock. I can't see anything new. Cauliflower is actually new. I don't think I've harvested that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to give me a different quest. The Valley's Hidden Pond. Okay, well, I know what that's going to be. It's in one of the bushes over there. Customer, I don't hear a darn thing you're talking about. Oh, that's all right, mate. I was basically saying how great we are as a squad. Uh, me, you, and um, Tyrannos at knowing all the things in this game. And I'm very, very grateful for it. That was pretty much the summary of it. And also how the quest system, the daily quest system, or the board system does increase friendship. And I just picked up six of them. <laughs> loads of different people um just so i can just honestly power through them all uh like four of them are two of them are fiber two of them are wood so just grab some fiber and wood and that's that so i'm just doing my shiny checks um at the moment while we increase our albino dinocaris friendship and once I've done that i'll do some quests before ending the day i also need to till by the end of the day um so we'll do all that that's a blueberry muffin that is not an ultra rare it has fooled me like thrice at this point. And the Stego is an ultra, that's fine. Look, if I get an albino Trudon, it's going to be named Light Fury. If I get a Melanistic, it's going to be named um He'll get there eventually, give him time. Um Toothless. If it is, however, one of the proud colours, I get to call it Vicentrudon. <laughs> Because that'll be Vicente's. Or if I get Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's um, Albino or um, Strawberry Milkshake. I will name it. Um, uh, no, I can't name it. Vicentyrannosaurus? That doesn't roll off the tongue as nice. But we can finally get Vicente. I'm kind of baffled Beaver hasn't looked at this game. Yeah, to be fair, I don't think um, a game like this, like a sort of um, chill ranching simulation sort of game, is his cup of tea. I don't know. I don't want to say for definite. Um, but he didn't check out Parkasaurus either. Um, he just... Sometimes some games don't, like... Appeal to him. Just because they have dinosaurs in them. Doesn't mean it's going to appeal to him. Same with me. Um, like, I won't... I'm not going to lie to you. I might do an odd video on Jurassic World Evolution 3 if it ever launches. But will I do a series on it? Only if they fix the terrain mapping. And it doesn't feel like just Jurassic World Evolution 1 and 2 again. Um, that's a genuine, honest thing. I love the fact that the team of paleontologists is a channel ranking dinosaur models. That's, that's, that's something I need to check out. First off, where's the second one? There, and no, it's not one of the pride colors. Still got the finish art, shiny checks, shiny checks. I still also need to go to Mary to get that, um, hat. The fact that I'm delivering it to Marlo, I would think and hope it would increase Marlo's friendship, but it won't, but uh, it's one one can hope. 
I am going to have so much fun going through these log these quests now. I'm not kidding. I wasn't doing them before because they didn't have any tangible benefit. Like, oh, the odd seed or something. But the fact that I'm going to be collecting so much crap on top of the fact that it does increase friendship genuinely excites me. So I'm going to be powering through those board quests. And I don't know how many you can get from them a day or if it's unlimited. If it's unlimited, great. If any of them get to a point that there's stuff I can't get, then we'll just not touch them. I'm looking forward to they mercilessly destroy the Tarbosaurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is going to be quite merciless, I would imagine. But hey, I, I do enjoy a good, unique model. So, whether it's accurate or not, it's not. Um, it doesn't really ever get on my nerves. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not one of those that's super fussed if it's not accurate. Oh, look at that. Um, vanilla and coffee. That's kind of cool. Um, but, like, if it looks cool or at least interesting enough to warrant me going, ah, I don't really mind it. It's not that's not accurate, then that's great. Like, I will admit, I like the way that that Jurassic World Evolution 2 Tarbosaurus looks. But I know it's not fully accurate. I'm not going to kid myself. Was it you had to have a yellow crest and a blue body? Or was it a blue yellow body and a blue crest? Let's find out. So we want the OV Raptor. I think this is just a common. It is common. It's the other way around. So their ultra rare is a blue with a yellow crest or a ocean color, which is yellow and green. Thank you for confirming. Did I check Dapplewood first this time? I did, didn't I? Oh, wow. I changed it up. I don't mind the inaccuracies. I hate that it looks like a Godzilla monster, whereas I enjoy it. I genuinely think it looks pretty cool. Um, but that's personal preference, man. You'll get, you're far enough into the game where you're not going to get stuck with a crop you can't get until next season. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but just increasing Agami's friendship would be good to get more crop selection as well. There is an achievement, by the way, for getting every single food recipe, and that's going to be fun to try and get. Because I... When I play games like this that I really enjoy, even if it's on Steam, um, as opposed to if I was playing my PlayStation or my Xbox, I will 100% try and get all the trophies or achievements, which is why I didn't get them all for Resident Evil 2. two. Um, but I might for this game. I might. And the 20% discount on her watermelon seeds is going to be freaking huge. So she does, her discount does increase. Awesome. That is good to know check the Utahs. I will also check the board in here. I don't think Marlo will have quests, but I know Owen can have quests in here, because Owen comes here. No, no he doesn't. Mary does, so that's kind of confusing. Maybe Marlo can have quests in here. I've not seen it, but I'd like to check it. Not sure if I'll be getting all the achievements in this game. There's a few that are genuinely quite easy um, that I've still got left. Um, like the run through 10 different leaf piles when you're doing the um run on wisdom day i thought it was three so i didn't get it uh no so mary can get one but that's it damn shame what day is it friday does that count as a weekend and does that mean i can buy three star food no it's saturday and sunday strictly okay I haven't seen Marlow Quest. Yeah, I didn't think you would. I, I, I just thought I'd play it safe and just double check. But obviously, you can do all of the quests over there, and you can do all the quests over here, and just pile up quests. You'll get some shells from it, yes. You'll get some crops from it, yes. You'll get some seeds from it, yes. You'll get some furniture, etc. And saddles, it, it's, it is useful. And I will be doing that. Right. It's half seven. I'm not going to start a new day. We have managed to find one ultra rare. It has extended it up to this point. I might try this again, like doing an extended thing, and I might do it with Pokemon as well. It'll be quite fun, especially as we're getting close to December 14th, which is, of course, the next DLC. I'm hoping to stream Pokemon. I'll see how the new capture card works. I've still got to try that yet, but there's a few things I need to sort out for that to work. Uh... No fibers needed. Fiber and wood, wasn't it? So, 
just grab those out just so I've got them. I need to go to Mary as well at some point. You're happy, yay! Um, for now though, we are going to end the stream. I'm currently building a library. Oh, I want to build a library too. I want to use it as sort of like a decorative area with like some benches and stuff. It'd be quite nice. I was thinking around here. Um, because I do like the library blocks that you can get. Guys, this stream has been a lot of fun. The fact that we've been able to find an ultra rare and now Bino at that is awesome. Um, and the fact that we figured out some more stuff. I do love it when we discover new things, um, in this game or confirm things. And getting some, uh, tips from you guys is always awesome. This is fun, man. Thanks for entertaining, engaging, and conversation. I always enjoy doing that on stream. Um, so I, I'm always happy when people show up so I can actually talk to people and not look like I'm in insane talking to myself. <laughs> so I appreciate you all showing up, um, like you do. It's genuinely awesome. Now, how do I end stream today? Oh, let's talk about my mustache. As you can see, this is quite long now. It's quite thick. Not not as thick as I want to. And this is quite short. This is the new style. It needs to be a little bit higher. You managed to get a little bit higher this time, the barber. The next time I want it even just about here, I reckon. On height. And then, shave to a one. Keep this the same length. I want to see... Because... In my family, like, my gramps, he, uh, he has a hell of a moustache. He can grow a hell of a moustache. I want to see if I got that part of the genetic, like, that genetic tree or not. <laughs> so I'm hoping to find out. Um, but it's the sort of style I'm going for at the moment. Uh, just because I, I really enjoy the look. And I've seen people with it, and I've been like, you know what, I think I, I could work with it. If I go bold, it won't work. Like, look, if I shave all this off, a longer moustache just doesn't work. So I'm like... But it might work with a fuller beard with no hair it's all about head shape and stuff i like it anyway that's a great little way to end the stream and one please click the button i'm gonna pl I'm play sunder ray and just not do it and just look at you I'm, I'm missing the button